There are moments that I look at him, this kid that I raised, and I wonder who he is. Beautiful Boy, the film, is derived from two different memoirs, David Chef's Beautiful Boy and Nick Chef's Tweak. Both books created this singular entity that I just imagined as a film that could be extremely gripping. It's about my son. He's addicted to crystal meth, which seems to be the worst of all of them. I heard about Beautiful Boy three years ago and was heartbroken by it and moved by it. And David Chef and Nick Chef's story is so powerful because it's relevant and important right now. At a time when addiction is just sweeping through our country and destroying so many families and affecting so many communities, more people are dying from overdose than anything else under 50 years old, and we're losing about 150 people every day. What is your success rate? The success percentage is in the single digits. It's about a family, it's about a relationship between a father and son, and how addiction affects relationships, how really no one is safe from it. You're doing every drug on the planet and lying? I'm really sorry, Ed. This film spans decades, and Felix Van Groningen across his work like The Broken Circle Breakdown, and now his first English language movie, Beautiful Boy. He does have a feel for truths about the emotional experience of being a human being. action! I'm fascinated by people who lose themselves. So I read the books and I totally fell in love. There were just so many cinematic things that caught my attention that it was worth spending three or four years of my life on. Cut. Felix's superpower to me is he just understands human intimacy and human relationships and familial relationships. He just has an eye on these sorts of things. How he really wanted to honor the story, but also make sure that it really felt really universal and that everyone would be able to relate to it. Nature was a big part of Nick and David's life growing up. They live in Marin. It's in intensely beautiful, they spent a lot of time outside, and we wanted to show this is a boy who came from a beautiful place. This project was particularly wonderful because we did have a lot of access to the photos and to the real family, and we had this really beautiful visual history of everything that they've went through. My son is out there somewhere, and I don't know how to help him! We went up north in Marin County, where we shot the beaches and the roads. We shot San Francisco, Golden Gate Bridge, Haight Street, Tenderloin. It's hard to see it, but it was right to do it there, to get the reality of it. I don't feel like I have a disease. I put myself here. You can't understand what it treated us to be in front of the camera of that sort of team, and how amazing is that? I need to find a way to fill this black hole in me. It's easy to look at a movie like this and think this involves some pretty dark things but I see the movie as full of joy and hope and like a real expression of humanity towards one another. I still have family. I want them to be proud of me.